I was into a craft uh, in Kelowna yesterday with uh, with my group. We were seated, seated on the patio. Uh, busy day, it was sunny, beautiful out. And uh, as we were seated, we, we saw a, a guy there, a young guy who had a t-shirt that had the R word uh, pretty prominently on it. Uh, it, was, it was repeated twice. It was a stupid, not funny joke that was on his t-shirt. Um, I figured that the staff maybe didn't notice. So I brought it to the staff's attention and uh, they brought it to the, the general manager's attention and uh, we waited to see what they were gonna, what they were gonna do about it. Um, what we saw was that they walked over and asked the guy to turn around so that his t-shirt was uh, only partially visible to the rest of the restaurant. And uh, I found that surprising. I, I asked whether there was some kind of policy on what's okay, what's not okay to wear in their restaurant. He said, as long as they're not gang colors, then no, they don't have policy on that. Do you feel comfortable repeating what the t-shirt said in this context? I, I don't. I, I'd rather not say the words unless it's yeah. needed for the story here. But maybe we'll include it in the written portion. In the written, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a tough thing to navigate. It, it is a tough thing to navigate. And it's also the words when they're said out loud, they, they do cause real harm to people with intellectual disabilities and the community and their friends and family. And right. so I'd rather not have those words attached to, to me. Yeah. It is a tough expectation to place on people who are focused on providing service to, you know, big crowds to, to sort of pass judgment on, you know, where funny ends and offensive begins on something like a t-shirt. Are you maybe asking too much of them? Sure, no, I understand the concern. I don't think it's that difficult. Uh, every kind of hospitality business is gonna have some sort of policy on what they consider acceptable and what they don't consider acceptable in their private business. We're not talking about censoring people out in public. Uh, we're talking about who you allow to come in and have a seat and be part of your, your establishment. Uh, would they have kicked someone out if the word had the if the shirt had the F word on it or the N word on it or if it had a picture with some nudity on it? Uh, I don't think they would have a hard time saying, I'm sorry, that's just not the environment we're trying to create here. So in your view, this what it demonstrates that, you know, the um, cavalier use of the R word, people just need to kind of rethink that. Yeah, the R word, it does cause real harm to people with intellectual disabilities and that community and their friends and family and, and to the rest of us, frankly. So I think that we all need to do better to pay attention to uh, the context and the meaning that our words have. Right. So the staff, to their credit, did take some action in this case that I guess sent at least a quiet message to the person wearing the T-shirt that he's clearly offended someone. But what would it have taken uh, for you to feel satisfied about your complaint? I think that they should have denied service. I think that they should have drawn a, a line in the sand and said, I'm sorry, we just can't have messages like that prominently displayed in our restaurant. This is not should acceptable. Should they have thrown them out? Yeah, yeah, I think that they should have finished the service and, and thrown them out.